In this video, let's convert our mesh into geometry so that we can begin the sculpting phase. Now our z-spheres are still in a preview mode and we now need to convert this into actual geometry in order for us to use our sculpting brushes for modeling. To convert a z-sphere preview into geometry, inside of the tool palette here on the right, click open the adaptive skin palette. Now click the preview button to show what this geometry will look like. The preview is based on our density and dynamic slider settings, which we'll discuss in the next video. To convert our preview mesh into geometry, press the Make Adaptive Skin button here. We now have successfully created the geometry, and this has now created a new tool here in the toolbox at the top. It's important to understand the difference between these two meshes. The tool titled Skin underscore ZSphere underscore 1 is our new mesh, which we can select and begin to sculpt on with our sculpting brushes. The other mesh, titled ZSphere underscore 1, is still our original ZSphere armature in preview mode. If I were to select it, you can see our preview mode is still active. If I deselect preview, and this will put my mesh back into ZSphere mode to be modified further if needed. To avoid confusion between these two tools, simply select your new sculpting mesh and open up the subtool palette. Here we have the option to rename our mesh and we can now begin sculpting on this mesh. That covers the essentials of Z-Spheres. In the next video, I'll be putting our practice into action and create a full human body. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.